Everybody wants to know, Mike Posey, why'd you do that? Why'd you turn on Matt Boyce? Well, who is Matt Boyce? Let's not talk about him. Let's not talk about Matt Boyce. Let's talk about me. My name is Mike Posey. If you people had TV, you would know who I am. I am the greatest referee on this planet and the sexiest referee in the world. Not to mention the hottest wrestling commodity to come out of the great Alabama. Welcome back to NWA Main Event Wrestling, folks. In the ring we have none other than the new NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Champion, Steve-O, doing battle with Travis Sawyer. Scott, tell them all about it, NWA Oklahoma. It was what a contest it was, back and forth for a good solid hour, and in the end, Steve-O was able to hit that super kick and right into the jaw of Jeff Daniels, getting the one, two, three, a solid hour of wrestling from those two. It was, it was intense, it was heated, and Steve-O was able to walk out the new NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Champion. Well, it was a 60-minute Iron Man match. Steve-O won the contest three to two falls and was able to walk home with the gold. And boy, what a night. Folks, hopefully we're gonna get some footage from our friends at NWA Oklahoma, NWA Midwest in Oklahoma City, and hopefully we'll be able to show you that footage on a future broadcast of NWA Main Event. But even if we can't, Jason, look at this. Isn't it just, isn't it just great to see the belt around a man who, with, who will defend it with honor, with decency, with respect? Someone we know is gonna hold that belt for a good long time here at NWA Main Event. Yeah, and somebody that definitely would never pick up the ball and go home or leave his fans high and dry None other than the real effect, Steve-O. I just, I, it's so refreshing to see that belt around someone who really deserves it and is going to defend it with honor as he's defending here against second generation star, Travis Sawyer. Travis Sawyer, the son of late mad dog Buzz Sawyer, who we've mentioned in the past. Travis, second generation star, like you said, being accompanied to the ring this week by his normal manager from Cleveland, Ohio, Tony Lacasio. I'll tell you something about Tony Lacasio, Jason. It looks like he's trying to gain himself here a pretty decent stable of wrestlers at NWA Main Event. First, he's got Travis Sawyer. Then we saw a couple weeks ago, and last week, he's recruited Sean Schultz as well. He may be going, and, and right now, Travis is going after the gold with Steve-O. He may be trying to just get a stranglehold on all the gold here at NWA Main Event. He could be, be very well trying to do exactly just that. I think you butchered about seven words in the English language in that one, Jason. He might be trying to do exactly just that. Well, right now, Travis has got a big bite to take from Steve-O if he's gonna do it. Steve-O is riding the adrenaline rush from Oklahoma City all the way here back to Nashville. Quick arm drag on Travis Sawyer from Steve-O, follows it up with another one, and a big drop kick sends Sawyer right off of his feet, and now Steve-O's pumped up. That adrenaline, he's been flying high ever since he left Oklahoma. He's been talking nonstop about that belt. He, he's, he's glad he won it, he's happy he won it. It's a huge victory for Steve-O, and it's what knocked Jeff Crippler Daniels off his pedestal, as we saw earlier, and he's taking out that aggression on anyone and everyone he can. Now looks Sawyer. like Steve-O trying to go for that super kick, but Sawyer wisely ducks it. He bails out of the ring at the last second, Jason. Boy, and if he would have nailed that, how quickly this contest would have been over, but Sawyer's smart enough to see it coming. Obviously, he's been doing his homework, watching some footage of Steve-O, knew exactly what he was going for, bailed out of the ring and might have cost himself a loss and might have saved his shot at the Mid-America Heavyweight Championship. Well, there you see on, on the ringside there, Lacasio and Sawyer trying to have a little words back and forth with each other, trying to re-strategize their game plan. And now Steve-O looks like after the, getting draped across the ring and now Sawyer just laying in those shots, Steve-O might be in a little bit of trouble. The wind might have been knocked out of him. That adrenaline rush might be over, but he kicks out before Sawyer able to make the three. Devo now, Sawyer bringing him back up to a vertical base, goes for the neck breaker and nails it. And you see Steve-O a little bit lifeless here as Travis Sawyer really, really, wait a minute, pin attempt. No, the champion still has enough fight. 
Well, that's why he's the champion, Jason. He's not one to say die. He's not one to give up so easily. He's gonna, it, it's gonna take a lot to wear out Steve-O. And I'll tell you, it looks like Sawyer's doing a good job right there. Look at the power of that strength of that leg just laying into Steve-O, choking the life out of him. And Steve-O struggling for air at this point. Travis Sawyer rakes the back of the current Mid-America Heavyweight Champion, Steve-O. And you hear the fans here in Nashville in complete disapproval of this second generation superstar. Well, can you blame him? Look at the tactics he's been using the entire match, using the ropes as a choke, choking the life out of Steve-O whenever he can, blatantly just using those close fists on him. Irish whip here from Travis Sawyer, catches him in the middle of the ring, and it looks like he's not going anywhere, Jason. Sawyer, look at the maneuver there from Sawyer and Steve-O out on his feet. Well, Sawyer slowly Going for the cover, hooks the leg to Steve-O, you see, placing great ring awareness there, placing his foot on the rope, causes the referee to have to stop the count, and steve still in the game. He's still champion for now, but I'm telling you, the damage might have already been done. If Sawyer can place Steve-O better in the ring where he's, not away, where he's not close to those ropes, we may have one of the shortest victories, one of the shortest champions here in NWA, and crown a new one in Travis Sawyer. And can you imagine Tony Lacasio with two champions in his control, in his grasp? He already runs his mouth too much for my taste. Can you imagine what happens if that ego goes up to two champions? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a monopoly here in the National Wrestling Alliance. It'd be like Hendrix Motorsports is to NASCAR. It might even be like the Boston Red Sox are to baseball. I wouldn't necessarily say the Tennessee Titans. Though. Yeah, I wouldn't either. The Patriots. We'll go with the Patriots on that one. Go Pack Go! <laughs> well, right now, Sawyer in complete control of this contest. Steve-O trying to do anything he can. Comes up off the ropes, lays that boot right into the midsection of Travis Sawyer. Comes up, and a vicious spine buster from Sawyer lays Steve-O out right in the middle of the ring. Sawyer now goes for the pin one more time. Hook of the leg, two count, and no. Travis Sawyer, do you think the lackadaisical pin here, you know, he's really just kind of laying his body over Steve-O when he should be. Uh, Obviously turned over, really trying to get the pin here. He's got a lot more at stake than Steve-O does to become the first ever Mid-America, or excuse me, first time for him, Mid-America heavyweight champion. He's never held a belt here in NWA main event. Well, you think he'd have more on his mind than just trying to have that cocky pinfall, but I think that maybe... Maybe in his own mind, Sawyer's already won this belt, and Steve-O just doesn't even know it yet. Sawyer, I think, is a champion in his own mind, and he's willing to just do whatever it takes, show absolutely no respect to the champion, Steve-O. And it looks like here, Sawyer winding him up, going for a pump handle slam, and he just dropped Steve-O right into the center of the mat. I'm telling you, Jason, there's been a lot of damage dished out. This could spell the end for Steve-O right here. He's got the hook of the leg. One, two, two, and three Oh, fourths. Just two, not able to do it. Travis Sawyer, a little frustration starting to build. You see the frustration in the look of the eyes of Tony Lacasio, the manager on the outside, and Steve O'Neill Sawyer. Steve O'Neill's him again, and Steve O is trying to fight back in this contest. He knows exactly what is at stake. Absolutely he does. His Mid-America Heavyweight Championship on the line. And now Steve-O lays Sawyer out. Lays him out one more time with another clothesline. Steve-O with his second win here. That adrenaline rush. That flow of the gold in his veins. And he's got the pinfall. No! So close. He was so close to maintaining that championship, Jason. Travis Sawyer kicks out at the last possible second. Steve-O now on the offensive. But Travis Sawyer rakes the eye. And it looks like Sawyer now starting to realize what's at stake, too. Both of these men on the receiving end of a lot of punishment. Now Sawyer calling up Lacasio, and Lacasio holding Steve-O up. Sawyer, he's got Steve-O in a predicament. Steve-O was able to duck, and Lacasio very wisely jumping off. Here comes the roll-up, Jason. Here it comes. One, two. He's got it. He's got it, Jason, well, retaining the, the championship. The roll through Sunset Flip, your winner and still Mid-America heavyweight champion, the real effects, Steve-O, the crowd in Nashville approves, and uh, hopefully they approve of us taking a quick commercial break. <laughs> 